Uh, there's actually a really great way to visualize that. Do you want to take a second? Yeah. Just to, okay. All right, All right good? let's see how far it goes. So I'm really not comfortable teaching one-on-one, -on -one, but I thought it would make a cool video. So I reached out to Anthony and I got a clip of his throw and I talked to him about some things that he wanted to work on. And I think I found something that could help him, a good drill for him. It's kind of a different way of visualizing and feeling a throw than what I usually describe. So it might be really helpful to you. So feel free to follow along at home and make sure to subscribe so you can be better than the 70% of people watching this video that aren't. So Anthony said he was struggling with release angles and we all want more power. So I thought to help with that, we would try a drill that kind of treats the throw more like a swing than anything else. Almost like a left-handed golf swing. You ever play golf left-handed? No. No, you ever play golf right-handed? Once. Once, okay, I played cool. mini golf. So you're on the right page, <laughs> at least a little bit of experience. Um, but to do this drill, you need a hammer. So you brought a hammer, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. You don't bring a hammer with you? But it's, it'll, it'll work, okay? Because we just need something heavier than a disc for this, just to get the, the feel for it. Is okay. that heavier than a disc? That's an excellent <laughs> question, actually. <laughs> this is heavier this than is a disc. This is for you. Okay, you feel free to follow along with this drill at home. If you'd like to, just make sure that you have uh, enough space because you're gonna be swinging the hammer around. And um, a real hammer. It, yeah, also a real hammer would help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so, uh, this drill starts, it's from CBAS22. You can check out his channel down in the description if you want more uh, more details, like a more in-depth look at this. But basically that's what we're just gonna be doing his drill. So it starts out with, uh, I'm gonna describe it first and then do it so I can back away. Um, it starts so with holding the hammer in your hand and you spin it around counterclockwise for what you're looking at. So if you're right-handed, you start going to the left. If you're doing this as a lefty, you start with it in your left hand going to the right, but you're just swinging the hammer around. I'll back up some. Like fast or, or just like yeah, control? And, and kind of in front of you, not necessarily like off to your side. Okay. Like crossways in front of you. So like I'm the clock. Yeah, you can keep your arm a little bit looser, let the gravity kind of pull it down. And what you're, what you're feeling for here is where the hammer feels the heaviest. If you're doing it right, your weight should be like a little bit Probably swaying like side to side. Here. Yeah, like right in front of your right foot, isn't it? Yeah. You can swing it a little bit faster, but not like I don't want to let go. That's a good You're in a danger spot. Yeah. Also, if you have older hammers, the head might like fly off, so that's a good thing to watch out for. <laughs> I think we're good on that one. I think we're good, okay. You just feel how the hammer gets heavier. That is ideally where your release point should be. You don't have to go all the way around, but if you just go back and forth. Like a throw or swing it again? Up and down. We're well, staying with up and down for right now. So you feel your weight kind of go side to side. And this is the idea of the throw, is it's your arm swinging uh -huh. but also throwing a disc. So now if we try the okay. same motion, but with a disc, get your own disc, you can't have one of mine. I got one. Um, but Hey, yours is the right size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, instead of holding it like a normal disc, I usually hold it sideways. Okay. Um, but it's a lot lighter. All of a sudden this feels yes. a lot different. Uh -huh. um, and you'll notice as you swing back, a lot of times your arm will bend a little bit. And so that'll kind of amplify the the feeling of the release point. I'm in front of Anthony right now, if you can't tell, so it's not like he's about to hit me with the with the disc. <laughs> Unless you wanted to like. I, <laughs> well, it slipped. Yeah, you got it. It's me. an okay. old one. Um, but the disc comes in a little bit. You can feel it have like a little bit more snap. Try swinging it a little bit higher as you go back. Okay. Swing it almost up to shoulder height, and then just yeah. Naturally, as it goes, you feel how it pulls in a little bit. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the feel that we're going for. Except the problem is right now it's up and down. Right. This which, would not go very far. Well, if you want to throw spike hyzers like three feet off the ground, that works. Or it's kind of the the idea behind that the bent arm technique that you'll see some throwers throw where their arm is mostly straight and they control the angle with their wrist. But that's not exactly what we're going for here. Mm -hmm. So back to the hammers because this is again easier to feel with the hammers. Way better. Um, <laughs> so much better. <laughs> For this drill, you do basically the same thing where you're just swinging back and forth, except you're gonna do it more on a horizontal plane. Not like up here, kind of lower chest height, but you're just swinging it back and forth. And here, it's even more exaggerated because your arm bends more and because the weight of the hammer is so much, it probably feels like you're about to let go of it. Oh yeah. As you're just kind of swinging it back and forth. Yeah. Make sure to swing it wide as you go back too. Well, you don't wanna just Claw yourself? No, well, no, but like <laughs> it looks, you're kind of swinging it off to the right and then pulling it in to go back. But try swinging it out the whole way, almost more like a sideways pendulum. So we're like painting a half circle almost. Yeah. Okay. And it, it's gonna pull in a little bit, but for the most part, that's the feel. And now if you do it with a disc and you swing back and forth, it's still the same kind of swing. Uh huh. It's just a lot farther out in front of you 
and it's a lot more of a, of a fluid motion. Yeah. Rather than before, where it was more of like a pulling in and then pushing out motion, which still is happening because right. the disc is still moving in. The reason the disc is moving in is because your elbow only bends in one direction. It doesn't, unless you're like double jointed. And as you go like this, your elbow bends in. If your elbow bent the other way too, I guess it would do the same thing coming back, but um, that would be kind of That weird. would hurt. That looks like, yeah, it looks like it'd be painful. But it's just a back and forth kind of a motion and your elbow bends in and that's part of what helps the disc come forward into the power pocket. So this is basically the throw, but right. the problem right now is your reach back is, or backswing is like a big arc. So the way, to, the way to change that is to start with the disc in front of you. And you would think it would just be, as you rotate back, push the disc out and then swing it forward, but that doesn't exactly feel natural. Okay. Try it right now. If you start with the disc in front of you and then just push this back, it doesn't yeah. feel like that swing as much, does no, it? No, not at all. It's like, it feels back to more of the pull motion. It well, feels more herky-jerky. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna feel more herky-jerky at the end, but a way to help that is to reach back later. If you've ever seen, so when some pros throw, as they're reaching back, the disc kind of just pops back there for just a second. It looks like the disc is about to slip out of their hand because their reach back is so fast and then it comes forward again. That's kind of the, the motion that I found helps with this, is if you, if you start with a disc in front of you and then right at the last second, you reach back, that helps it feel uh, a lot more natural, a lot more like that swing that we were looking for. Like that? Kind of. Okay. Do it again. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to fall over. That's good. That means your weight's shifting. You're doing it properly. Okay. Am I supposed to have my feet like parallel or? Somewhere in between, wherever's, wherever's really comfortable. Because okay. your weight should naturally shift as like your arm pulls it. Yeah. Okay. Does that feel like your old throw? Not, no. Because it's much more of a of an outward motion almost. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try it with a disc now? Try throwing it. Just like a standstill. If you want, yeah. Sure. Don't don't try and throw it very hard. I will not use this disc. Probably not Lucid X Felon. <laughs> no. Don't throw the hammer either. <laughs> no, I take it back. Then I don't want to. So try it. you're not trying to throw very hard. Just like fifty percent. Okay. But you're just trying to do that swing. It looked like you still pulled that in pretty tight. Yeah. Try to imagine your release point like out here. Push like out in front of you, offset from your chest, almost like this area is where you're letting go of the disc. Okay, with me standing here, I wanna let go, think about letting go yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Go through, the, go through the motion again of like the swing with the disc sideways. So I wanna see where it actually should be. Yeah, about right here is where your release point should be. Okay. I'm not gonna hold the disc there. Yeah, right? that would that not. <laughs> I'm gonna seems... grab the hammer then. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I felt that right here. Right there? Yes. Like as you were opening your arm or yes. what? Yes. That probably means I did something wrong again. Maybe did, maybe not. Try it again. Okay. It's weird thinking about like, okay, start moving, then reach back again. Maybe don't focus as much on that. Focus more on the swing thing. Okay. Because maybe the reach back thing was too much. What are you saying? I was saying there's <laughs> a lot to think about while you're throwing. And changing one thing is hard enough. So that what, what the end result is that this doesn't come as much in. Right. It just kind of swings towards you and then out. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's actually throw it now. Okay. That looked a lot smoother. That one felt better. Okay, do it again. That one felt good. We're, good. We're gonna be doing a lot of reps. We got plenty of discs here. Lots of Frisbees. Well, that was bad. I'm not worried about the result. That, yeah. I'm worried about how, like, how the power like feels. That was good. Okay. That one felt good. That was more down the middle. That was one of the better feeling ones. All right. Should I try a run up? Go for it. That felt very good. Good. I don't know if it looked good, but it felt it very good. It looked pretty good. Let me film on my phone so I can see. Sure. All right. Looking for the disc to not come in as close to your chest, which it really didn't. No. So right here at the beginning of your pull, the disc mm -hmm. kind of lifts up. But the main thing is it's not swinging quite as tight to your chest and your arm's still at 90 degrees. Yeah. That looks a lot better. So is that how we can like read the stamp and mm -hmm. then it goes flat again? Is that wrist 
it looks like just kind of from the reach back, you're setting up to throw the disc on this really big hyzer mm -hmm. and you're setting the angle there. So maybe thinking of keeping your hand on the outside of the disc would be helpful because it's kind of slipping to the bottom. Should I try another one? I mean, yeah. Run up? Yeah. Okay. You can probably throw your whole bag just to get the feel of it. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, and I feel like I'm not having to throw nearly as hard. No, yeah. It just is a lot more, I don't know, casual is not the right word. That was probably the best feeling one. Yeah, and that's smashed. That felt really good. You barely threw that and that went like really far. Yeah. Well, I mean that typical. Typical of, of <laughs> Anthony things, that's true. This will be interesting. This is a very flippy disc. Okay. That was really smooth. That felt good and it like flew. Okay. I mean, that's how that disc normally flies when I throw it really hard. Yeah. And I did not throw it really <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. That looked better on reachback timing. Yeah. Did you, was it your weight shift rib? Yeah, there was just a little oh, okay. bump and I, In the words of Willow Smith, just whip it. <laughs> whip it good. When did that song come out? I think last week. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not old. <laughs> so, what is your swing thought right now? Uh, I'm mostly still trying to focus on like releasing away. Yeah, that's usually a good swing, sh swing thought, at least from my experience, is like your release point. That's like right there. Okay. I, I, there's actually a really great way to visualize that. Do you want to take a second? Yeah. Just to, okay. So get your hammer. Yeah. <laughs> and if you stand, where do you stand? I don't want you to hit your hand. Probably about like here. Okay. Then that was where, if you swing back and forth, wherever the hammer was the heaviest. I'll, probably, I'll take a step away. I'll practice. No, we don't want to. Right. Don't want to waste it. Like if you were trying to actually hit those boxes as hard as you could. Uh huh. Where would you have them? I mean, like probably like here. So yeah, I bet you're probably right. Like right Up here. there. That works. Yeah. Go okay. for it, I wonder how far it'll go. Or if you'll just put a hole in it, it'll be really anticlimactic. Oh God, can you imagine? I'd be so disappointed. I gotta turn the camera, hang on. Okay. All right, All right good? let's see how far it goes. <laughs> We've successfully done both. Did you? Just, did I just rip a hole right it here? Made, Is that all it did? It made a giant hole. All right. I kind of didn't do what I thought it would. Is it because I hit the side? Maybe, Maybe if I hit her square on? But then you might hit your hand. Nah, it's worth, nah, it. Okay. worth it for the science. Just punch the box. Yeah. <clears throat> you won't be able to play disc golf for a while because your fingers hurt, but like. That's why I got a hammer. It'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> First one went far there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try oh, it. Oh gosh, this is a bigger hole. I want to try it. Okay, here, put okay. that one. Okay, Let's that one will be on top. Give you some, some integrity here. All right, I'm aiming right for the D's right there. I'm gonna do full X step. Okay. Cause why not? I like it. <laughs> oh, dude, the you got me. in the box. You got, no, uh. Yeah, what? it slipped right out of my hand. <laughs> I thought you just hit it a mile farther than I did. No, I just sent the hammer with it. <laughs> as soon as I actually put my weight behind it, there was no way I was holding on to -uh. it. Is this why you brought such a tiny hammer? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely also just punched it with my hand. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, I'll try it one more time. On a different side. There you go. And without doing the X step, because that's kind of what's supposed to happen as you throw. You're supposed to just be holding onto the disc and it rips out of your hand. Yeah. That's exactly what happened with this. Science. It just ended up inside of a box. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna run up, I forgot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss again? 
I think you got the very edge. Was that me? Or was that previous time? I think. I think that was it. Regardless, that was a lot of yeah. fun. All right, so we're gonna keep throwing a bit more shots, maybe smashing these with hammers some more. Um, let me know down in the comments if you tried the hammer drill, how it worked out for you, or if this like different way of visualizing the throw helped you at all. Uh, remember to subscribe for more content on how to become a better disc golfer, and always remember, slow is smooth, and smooth is far.